Would you be okay with your significant other spending a lot of time with one of their exes, as a friend? I would, yeah, but when my boyfriend's ex was in town a couple weeks ago, she doesn't even live here anymore, my initial reaction was like, what are you trying to pull, you know? But I think that came out of a place of insecurity on my own part more than, you know, anything based in reality because she's obviously not a part of his life anymore for a reason. And we're in an open relationship and everything, so even if they did, like, hook up, that's technically s sanctioned. I'm friends with most of my exes. Most of my exes are friends with their other exes and blah, 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 so... I don't, I don't think it's a big deal. I think it like makes sense if you're compatible enough to date someone, it makes sense that you're going to stay friends with them afterwards. And it also makes sense mm -hmm. that those so-called like ex-friendships are not actually always entirely like platonic, but is that really that bad if there's some element of like missing each other? And even though my reaction was jealousy, I would never want to keep him from seeing people he wants to see. And I definitely would have the same knee-jerk reaction, like literally without thinking about it. If I heard that, I'd be like, what does this guy want? My territory now, you know, very primal. Because if I trust the who I'm with enough, or like I know him enough, I'll, I won't have a problem with them hanging out with their ex because as one of you guys said, there's a reason they're not in their life anymore. And I'm friends with some of my exes, and I think, yeah, I would feel like I wasn't trusted if the person I was with got upset at me for yeah, wanting exactly. to spend time with my exes. It's right, and that kind of uh, distrust or insecurity, I think, is really damaging to the relationship because then you get caught up on oh, totally. the fact that you're worried about them hooking up with their exes all the time instead mm -hmm. of being happy in the moment. Yeah, well, I think the solution to that is that the partner has to, like, address your insecurities and reassure mm -hmm. you before they go hooking up with other people. Mm -hmm. It's really crucial in your relationships not to let your insecurities dictate the way you treat your partner, you know? Mm -hmm. Definitely, yeah. If I think that people should be aware of when um, they're being unreasonable because they're coming from a place of insecurity. Although it is understandable to kind of feel that way, you know, it's primal, but to I To like, feel threatened, yeah. But I like to, when I, if I feel threatened or jealous or something, I like to take a moment and be like, okay, well, do I want my partner to be happy, you know? Like, can I just be happy for him that he's, you know, getting to spend time with somebody that he cares about? And that's a much better way to frame things in just thinking about being happy yeah. for them. Conclusion! <laughs> the conclusion is that um, some levels of jealousy are healthy and understandable, but it's important to be self-aware and to, and to show that you care about your partner through your actions. Get more introspect- get your introspect- get- <laughs> Get your introspection on. Exactly. Keep yourself in check. Yeah, and it sounds corny, but honestly, it's like you just gotta take a deep breath and step back from the situation for a minute. Don't get ahead of yourself about it. Just uh, think from their point of view. And it definitely takes some time to cool down before. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Don't just yeah, don't just have a knee jerk reaction mm -hmm. and go off because those are the worst. Like I regret those the worst. Yeah, so I find it helpful to think about how I would react before I do anything, because then I usually, while I'm reflecting on that, I realize, wow, I would be such an asshole if I showed up at her house screaming at her. Maybe a better way to handle it is just to, like, calmly tell her how I'm feeling. And of course you don't want to deprive the person that you're with from friendships with their exes, you know, if they still get along, they might as well still be friends. Yeah, it's, I don't think it's fair to make, to place restrictions on who your partner's friends with. Yeah, I think I that's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, I definitely agree. The 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 whole social cut that. That's <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Stay tuned. For... Oh shit! I was supposed to tell him if I was fucking Winter in this episode, but Winter's not here, so guess I'll okay. find out next time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. See ya in episode three or whatever. Exactly.